Well, sir, I think it was like one point. You had 68 balls! <laughs> you had 68 balls! <laughs> Bro, I got balls for days. What can I say, man? You'll see. Oh my god! <laughs> what the f man? Uh, Kiki, she's kind of pissing me off recently, though. I haven't used her in a while because I just hate. Yo! Sagondis Mina Aoyama. Sagondis Mina. Hi, I'm Goba Certified. I'm a YouTuber. I'm also a little bear. Welcome to Pokey's account audit. Subscribe! <laughs> Hey guys, Mr. Pokey here, back with another video. And on this episode of Account Audit, we have with us here the man, the myth, the legend himself, Guoba Certified. Yay! All right, give a little self introduction. Ah, uh, I make guides on, on Star Rail. I'm pretty much just a nerd YouTuber. And my favorite character is, um, it's probably in Bible to Lune, as you'll see soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, wait, wait, you're not trolling. Wait, you're not trolling. Like, he's actually your favorite character. Well, he's just, I, I don't know. It's just so satisfying to use him. I think he's going to get replaced with Sam, though. But I can't say Sam's my favorite character because, you know, they're not out yet. Yep, yep. It is wild to say the least. All right, excellent. How has life been, man, for like, the past, past couple of months? Uh, it's been pretty rough, actually. Like, I've been trying to move places for a while now, and it's kind of like affected my content. And I th I still haven't been able to move. On the YouTube side of things, it's been pretty good, minus uh, a couple dramas. Um, I've enjoyed the new units that have come out. There's been a lot of cooks. Um, I made a lot of new friends. I made some TikTok friends recently. TikTok? I think, uh, Is that like your new, your new like base of operations, TikTok? Um, I might try some TikTok, but uh, we'll see. First, I got to get the stream set up again. I, I think making shorts might be right, a, a right, nice right, additional right. thing I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why not just use like YouTube shorts? Or do you use that? I don't use YouTube shorts. I don't know like if YouTube shorts are the way. I, I just heard bad shit about it, but... Oh, by the way, oh. it's swearing aloud. No, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, go for it. Okay, lovely. Lovely. That's such a British thing to say. Lovely, lovely. isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, yeah, say isn't some it? British things. Say some British things. Right, right. Would you like a, would you like a cup of water? Right. Bottle of water. <laughs> Would you like a bottle of water? <laughs> wait, so... Wait, so... You're moving around, like, like, like in Europe? Like, you're, like, traveling? Or, like, like yeah. what, what's the situation? Well, I've lived in France for, like... God, half my life now. Okay, wait, wait, stop. Um, can, can you say some French stuff? Like, say, yeah, say, oh say something. Yeah, please, please, please. Un pain au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> keep, keep going. Mr. Poké, c'est le meilleur streamer sur Twitch. <laughs> the guest I certified. Oh, no. Get, wait, wait. Unironically, oh. that could be your thing. Baguette certified. Baguette like, you certified. literally have a potato. Like, that could be your... I don't <laughs> think there's any French YouTubers that are genuinely... Or like, French streamers that are like, doing, doing Hongai Saru. Like, actually... You you want me to do French streams from now on? No, no, no. Like, just just use it as your, your avatar. Because like, potato is like... Uh... Is like potato is like a potato, right? But like, baguette is like... It's like more of a personality. And then you can just like, stream and yap in the French accent. And then you can like, curse in France like... Bom, bada, shing, bom. <laughs> some, some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I think that's gonna be a really nice niche, genuinely. Respectfully. All right. Uh, let me pull up a little bit of sound so it's like less, less silent a little bit. Is this your? Is this your? Is, you, you said this yourself. What the the music? Yeah, the music. Yeah, this is my this is my uh, music. Okay, for a moment I was. This was Sam's theme. What do you think of the the story, man? I think it was pretty pretty delicious. Delicious. That's a very interesting way to describe it. Bro, I thought it was they cooked hard with it. Uh, you know, Luofu, I kind of forgot about it when I started right. Kanakon. Are you a law reader or do you like just space by skip everything? Oh, I, I, I well, I don't go into the in depth like book stuff and relic sets, but I read the uh, dialogue. I don't skip shit. Damn. Wait, wait, wait what, what, what's this? Okay, uh, look. Oh, I, 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 I'm not an explorer, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Bro! Seven out of seven, what is bro. going on? <laughs> what are you even doing? Okay, wait, this is the first question, and I think it's a very important question that I, I haven't asked before anyone. How much time do you spend on, like, Hongkai Star, like, actually playing the game, like, besides from making guides? Making guides is where, like, all my time comes from. I, playing yep. the actual game, I don't play that much. Like, when the, when the new events come out, I, I slap them. But, um, yeah, like, I, I don't explore, man. Damn, damn. So how, 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 how do you find the game itself, since you don't really play that much? Well, I play a ton, just not in the, I guess, I don't know, I kind of, I set up like a time where I play through all of it at once instead of like spreading out. Right, 
Right. So what's your like favorite favorite content? I don't know. The Sim Uni stuff is fun. Going Gears? I, I yeah, I loved Swarm Disaster when it came out. Like Damn. despite like the the despair when making the guide for it. Uh-huh. Um the DLC Sim unit pretty fun. I haven't done any of the strats though. Uh any of the captors and stuff. I actually right, haven't right. maxed out uh, Golden Gears, but uh that's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. I think Golden Gears it took like way too much time compared to Swarm Disaster because of the the conundrum thing. Oh my god, it's so it's so long. I yeah. only just finished that yesterday, so that, yeah, I completely understand you. Have you tried the the capitalism strategy? No, I should. Oh my god, I, like, all I did was watch videos on it. <laughs> you're like for real. It is like legit the, the best strategy. I really think it's the best. Yeah. Um, the only bad part is that you have to reset your curio. Until you get the the one that gives you there's this specific cure that gives you this hundred and fifty yeah. frame. Yeah, yeah. You have to keep resetting until you get it. But the moment you get it, it's like it's done. Like you can literally clear with like any unit, any dice, and anything like that. Oh not any dice, but like any comp and any path. And you just go. And it's like, it's so satisfying. So like yeah, in insane, insane strategy. Genuinely. I sure I saw your fish one tweet. Did you oh, actually solo with her? I actually soloed with her on full Jesus. auto. Yeah, using the capitalism strategy because I heard I was just hitting like 5 million damage and just killed yeah. everything. Yeah, I just bought like 100 blessings and like 2,000 um, curios or something. Yeah, yeah that, that, that actually insane. So yeah, give, give it a try man, whenever you have the time. Okay, next question. Mr. Mr. Right. Mr. Gova, you, do you consider yourself a, a, a light spender or, or a heavy spender? Okay, what's light spending and what's heavy spending? <laughs> okay, see, that's subjective, right? So, okay, to, in, in your own terms, do you think you're light or heavy? Like, in, in your definition? Light, because heavy to me is like over a thousand. I spent like 400, I think, max. Well, that's actually really... That's a lot lesser than I, than I expected, actually. Yo, yo, my man, are you okay? Yo, yo, Goba, hold up. Bro, check my, check my pulls. Don't check my jades. I'm a hoarder, bro. You'll see. Oh my god! What the f man? You're crazy! <laughs> I'm waiting for E6 Sam, bro. Wait, like for real? Like DS? Your DS gonna E6 him? I, I really want to. I mean, it depends what his E6 says. If it's some boring shit, I might not. Are you like a mech, mecha guy? Do you build Gundams? No, I just really like. I like. After playing Genshin for years and now Star Rail, like Sam's like the one, like super cool out of the blue design that they've released so it's like is that our first ever mech right like a mech mech yeah do you think his e6 will be like do you think it's gonna be like how did they do a naked robot yo i'm gonna keep it a buck um they're probably gonna show like the pilot you know okay yo, i don't know who the pilot is <laughs> yeah they, uh, they me, me neither but i feel like they're gonna unmask him for his e6 that's why that's what i think but look at his splash art Oh my god, you, oh my god, you, well, you missed out so many units. Holy shit. Bro, I don't pull, man. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'm genuinely surprised how much you saved. Well, I don't pull for... I think Topaz is the only woman I've pulled for. And that's not like... A, I'm not doing like a husband or anything. I just don't like the kits. Oh, no, I pulled Fushuan one, actually. Oh, my god. Uh, and Rome. Okay, never mind. Uh... Okay. <laughs> My brain is fried. You know why I pulled Fush one there? Because of fucking PvP. <laughs> and then I didn't use her. <laughs> I mean, she's a good unit. Actually, she's a good unit. Yeah, yeah. she's a good unit. Yeah, she's carrying uh -oh. Is there anyone else you're interested in out of all these units? Oh, I think Huo Huo for the um, Yo, that's huge, for her yep. energy memes. She's my favorite sustain, probably. Yo. But I didn't get her. Wait, okay, can you okay, let's let's get it down to black and white. Who do you think is the best sustain right now in Hongai Star Rail? As a guide maker. If you're not like min maxing, I guess Fushuan, but if you're if you're you know popping off, uh, I'd go for Huo Huo. She's just she's just And you heard it here on. first! You heard it here first, guys! All right, uh we'll clip it and ship it, right? We're sending it straight to Brightwind. Uh and then we're, we're, you're, you're gonna get cancelled. You're gonna get cancelled on Reddit, you're gonna get cancelled on all the oh, main courts nah. for saying Huen Huen is the is the best thing. But, but yeah, yep, yeah, uh we'll, we'll clip out the part where you said fusion and we'll just send it as Huo Huo is the best. Yep, okay. Who do you think is the best sustain right now in Hong Guys Star? Uh I'd go for Huo Huo. Uh, that, that's all we need, no right? No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but okay, but genuinely, that, that's, that's my opinion as well. And a lot of my community, a lot of my chat do feel this way. But it's just that a lot of players outside that don't really care about like the min maxing, they don't, they don't care about the energy, don't care about the sustain. They still yeah. feel that Fushan is very the best because okay, technically she does sustain a lot. Like it is very comfortable. But have you noticed that when you use Fushan in like Golden Gears, 
she she dies quite often because of the yeah. amount of AOE, especially when you fight against the true stuff. Holy shit, she just like boom and like, she just dies. It happened to me a lot of times when I when I wasn't running the um capitalism. Do you refresh or not at all? I don't I've energy refreshed in like 1.0 like a few times, but apart from that. Okay. Yeah, okay. You still create 800 though, so that's 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 good enough. <laughs> what would you say are like your your best best built units so far? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> my what? account is scuffed. Oh, nah, it's I've, you will see, man. Uh, uh, but Lune is is my best build. Lune is um, best. Okay. I have QQ and her to build. I like using them. My supports are okay. I have Rome on Coggers, which I I love. I had a really sick Fire MC build, but I had to scrap his stuff for um for Fushuan, so can't see that. Uh, but yeah, Lune is my only like. Properly invested relic wise DPS. Argenti just uses random shit, but he still pops off, so. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna dive in right now. Okay. <laughs> Be oh my god, okay. I'm gonna take a look at the idolist first. Oh my god, dude, I still Bro, can't believe I, you pulled for his E1. Like what? I the pulled fuck? for I I didn't pull for his E1, I pulled for E4 QQ, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You pulled for E4 QQ. Wait, is your QQ E6 now? Yeah, she's E6 now. Okay, huge, huge, huge. All right. Okay. I hate to, uh, bro. In my guide, I even shit talked the Eidolon. Oh, <laughs> I hate his E1, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's genuinely useless. But okay, wait. Your your T is not E6. How is this even possible? I don't think I pulled on her banners that much. Like I got I got King Yuan, but okay. Oh my god, Yuan Argenti, insane. Okay. Yeah. Yuan Bronya. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the, the oh, man dang. himself. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There it is. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you, you don't really fail a lot of like 50 50s, huh? Like, no. uh, yeah, you're quite lucky, right? Damn, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, okay, wait, how much you spent? You said you said you spent 400, 400 bucks, right? Um, yeah, if we can battle pass and, and the express pass. Okay, like for real, um, I feel like it, it looks. Yeah. Not bad for like the amount of 400. units you have. Yeah, especially with the E2 deal. Do you have the S1? Oh yeah. Hell yeah, I do. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, let, let me take a look at the. Oh my god, wait, why? Why? Why do you get this light cone? Bro, bro, someone, someone, uh, donated for me to pull it. Okay. How much did they donate? Well, they donated enough pulls to get it, so I was like, okay. Wait, they donated seventy pulls? Uh, no, I got lucky. It was more like forty or something. Oh my god, okay, you know what, I'm not gonna say anything. Alright, if they wanna... Alright, I mean like, yeah, it's yeah. fine, I guess, yeah, like, yeah, it's But also, fine. you know, Lorch is hot. Wait, what is it? Lorch is hot? Yeah, I said Lorch is hot. You know, between this and the abundance of male units in your account, um... Yeah. I'm just saying, man. Like, you can, you, can, you can let me know, though. Like, it's 2024, you know? I'm uh, completely G, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just keeping it in the buck. How is it like using Runway with Coggers, actually? Bro, her break fake sign on. I got the... I got the juice stats. I don't have S5 memories, but I do have S5 Coggers. Huh. DDD is fine. Yeah, Coggers brain rot, absolutely. QQ Lycon, insane. Okay. Double Japar Lycon, <laughs> interesting. I, wait. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you use this I at all? Yo, wait, what's your thoughts on texture of memories, actually? Uh, I got it just to test it, like at the start of the game, but I haven't used it. Bro, I think it's dog shit, man. Like respectfully. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I just um, think it's so bad because like, I feel like a for for a sustain, it's like they are gonna live anyways. Like this doesn't really yeah. change whether they live. And but this like cone doesn't make the rest of the team like survive more. That's so why I just think like it's, it's yeah. just so bad. Yeah. All right, huge, insane. Um, Bronya signature, huge. Do you get it like buying it or do you like get it? Um, like you actually pull for it. I got it from standard. My first two standard five stars were. Jeopard Cone and Bronya Cone. So, oh yeah. my god, that's crazy. Okay, because okay, speaking of this, right? Game you know, you know, there's 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 the there's the um what do you call it? The shop, right? That like this thingy. Would you ever no, recommend any any mm. other like for example like low spenders of the place? Would you recommend them to use it on the the, the no. pools or would you on the uh, pools? Yeah, on the pools. Why why how so? Uh, I feel like thirty pools is just way more important. Like I don't see. Like even Bronyakun, I don't see a place where you need that that much. Uh huh. Over like thirty whole pulls, which could get you to a pity. Okay, but thirty pulls could give you is kind of could give you dog shit though. It could. It could give know, you like a Yang King though. When would they need that in the Milky Way when they got breakfast and Cosmos and 
Yeah. Oh no no no! I said, like, for not not any of these like coins in particular, but just particularly like Bronya's oh. S one, like just Bronya's S one. The rest is like kind of whatever. Yeah, I agree. I think Bronya's current still isn't that amazing since it's only really usable on her and soon Sparkle. But that that's one of the ones I'd say that and moment of victory if your sustains lacking. But okay, okay. Because I personally think that um I will always just get one copy at least because it just makes it a lot more comfortable especially if they have a brawn yeah like yeah sure they can sure. use past and future right but like everything else like the, the skill point kind of stuff is like very hard to replace and like 30 pools i keep telling my chat you know what are you gonna get 30 pools you're gonna get like you're gonna get a get a get a, get a bunch you of this thingy yeah you're gonna get some balls you're gonna get another yankee you're gonna get your e2 pyro that it doesn't change anything whereas once you get like at least one copy of Ron, like you can just like forget about it and just move on and then you can slowly just build back up again if you ever need to push. But but that, that's that's my thought process, yeah. The, um, the only problem with the energy is it doesn't give her a faster rotation unless you're on skill spammer, right? And you can only do that with two characters, really. But at S5 though. I have I have someone in my server that <laughs> has bought this cone from the shop multiple times to get S5. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm just saying that. <laughs> yeah, the S5 icon is uh it's pretty comfy to say the least. Alright, okay, but we're yeah. not gonna, yeah, right, well, we're gonna know? move on. Yeah, we're not. We're just gonna move on. Right, we're, we're, uh, we're good. We're good. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, mm, yep. Okay. Bronya like going great, great, great. Um. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So so play. Yo. So play. Do you prefer this or do you prefer the uh cruising? Wait. What the? Wait. Didn't level this? You don't read. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get it later. All right. Uh, first of all, so play or like cruising instead of C. In general, I prefer stellar C because so play target swapping like. Uh -huh. Swordplay went from like everyone hated it to like everyone simped for it because calculations showed it was kind of OP. Mm -hmm. But then when you realize you have to target swap, uh, it became kind of mid. Um, so I prefer Stellar C, it's just way more consistent. I, I like Swordplay on Topaz specifically just because just Numbi keeps slapping the same guy. Nice yeah, 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 yeah. I think sword play in particular is like really, really good because like she gets the stacks like super, super fast since like yeah. the, the pick just yeah, yeah, yeah. But like other hunt like like Scylla, like Ratio, they they, they they bounce around really quickly. So like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, I completely get you. Yeah, okay. Right, it, 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 this one's fine. Um, you're not using Clara, right? We like we like pool for Black Swan. I won't. I don't. I don't invest in the dot team. Don't worry about her like him. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool, cool. Q Q. Did you still use her? Q Q. Uh, QQ, yeah, I swapped around light cones since so she's just chilling with breakfast. Mm. Um, I so I she's kind of pissing me off recently though. I haven't used her in a while because I just hate. <laughs> Yo, keep going. I hate, I hate when you use like one skill point and she maxes her thing out and then you're scuffed and then your whole team goes and she's you you you. you I just hate her RNG sometimes. So I've been using uh, her to instead recently. Oh my god, I feel so much. Vindication, like I said, I've been hating <laughs> on QQ for like so goddamn long, and like nobody sees it. And then finally, sweetie, the other day she was like, "Yeah, I hate QQ." And now you are the third person to finally be like, "Oh my god, I hate QQ." So, oh my god, this, this is so satisfying. I rushed to get her day one because I was watching the like beta stuff on her. I love her, but sometimes she's so annoying. Like, sh like either side of the RNG, you either spend too many skill points or too little, and I just hate that. Sometimes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But speaking of QQ, actually, what do you think? Do you think she's gonna be like a lot better when Sparkle comes out, or do you think like she's just gonna be like? The same. Yeah, she'll be a lot better because you can just set up, I guess, a permanent rotation where you always be able to spend some skill points with uh, QQ. And it doesn't matter if you don't have skill points because now Sparkle can provide them. What, what are your thoughts on Sparkle? Well, we haven't seen her too much officially, have we? Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen her too much officially. But uh, have you stopped building the guide for her yet? Have you, have you cooked yet? Yeah, I've, I, I've been cooking. Yo, I, I think the speed tuning is a fucking pain in the ass, man. <laughs> Bro, All right, you okay. speed tune after 10 years and one ice boy just hits your guy like 50 AV backwards. <laughs> Should have viewed the Ferris. Yeah, but um, I think Sparkle is going to be great. I, I think she's going to be a lot more flexible than people think. I think she yeah. can be used in beyond like QQ and people today. So... Yep. Yeah. People are shoehorning her into those two things, but like... like yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, okay, I, okay we know that she gives action value advance. We know that she gives crit damage, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So like, I feel like this two, and we know she gives skill points. I feel like these three things combined, it should at least make her at least as universal as Bronya. If not like, even more. So yeah, I think she's gonna be great. Let me move on a little bit. <laughs> Yo, what are, your about? what are your thoughts about our general, bro? Um, I'm just a... <laughs> bro, I pulled him because he was hot. I don't uh -huh. get his like, 
Um, so I had like a scuffed build. Like I love him, but I just never could make him work really. But that might be a skill issue. Oh yeah, but anyways, yeah, uh, good, 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 good to know, good to know. All right, Yan Chen is just, I don't, I don't think, do you use him? Uh, I use him at the very start, uh, and then never again. It is what it is, man. Wait, but you don't use Yan Chen, but you also didn't pull for Jing Liu. Then how do you deal with like, your ice coverage? Uh, I use Herta. Oh wow, insane. Okay. Yeah. I use Herta Hyper Carry. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of basic time base. All right, uh, ratio. Are you just not yeah. gonna use him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, talk about, um, it, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. I love ratio. Um, when I saw he was free, you know, great stuff. But the problem uh -huh. is, it's like that's I don't have enough relics for these units, and then I didn't get like E1S1 Topaz. So like I don't know if I want to go full into the follow up stuff. Uh, but I did a multi on his Lightcomb banner, and then you know he came. You got it like a one one temple. Yeah. Damn, but then they so, just, just don't use him anymore. Yeah, since I don't use him, like I level up everyone for the pools, but since I don't use him, I don't think I'll use the Lycan. I don't, I don't think I use any hunt character. I just don't like hunt that much, apart from Topaz. Yeah. So your favorite class is like Erudition then? Because I see like Herta, I, I see QQ, yeah. I see, right, QQ, Herta. Argenti. Um, yeah, Argenti, yeah, and this guy's just an exception, right? So yeah, okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Cool, cool. Yu Kong, um, how do you think about Yu Kong? Actually, okay, let, let's cook a little bit about Yu Kong, because um, a lot of people like really, really don't like her. Like, they are, like she's like the one of the worst supports. Yeah, like, please, please cook. I love using her, but that's because I've had E6, and I, I use Lune. Well, she's very annoying to use, but yeah. with Pure Fiction or like Jewel DPS stuff, she's she's kind of banging. Especially out of turn stuff like Herta. Like Argenti, Herta, Yukong is, is super nice in Pure Fiction. Argenti, Herta, Yukong. You combine them all yeah. together because of the, the buffs that they, they get. Yeah, because her Palma buffs are like kind of cracked on those two units and they can just keep spamming their all on uh, Herta's follow up and they'll have uh, Yukong full buffs. Right. Okay, since you talk about Pure Fiction, we, 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 we kind of sidetrack yeah. a little bit. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Pure Fiction? Because I personally feel that the mode is like, it's still raw, like it's still not cooked enough. The difficulty doesn't warrant players to specifically build a whole team or like theory craft or like make the best comps for Pure Fiction just because like the difficulty is not there. And like most of the time, the buffs just gives you like such a huge advantage that you can kind of just make use of it. So yeah. I think the buffs, yeah, like you said, make it a bit too easy if you do have that archetype. Because in MSC, you don't have like those choice of buffs. I mean, so Turbulence is sometimes kind of cracked. Like, um, I think the current one is pretty OP, but... Right. The pure, uh, the pure yeah. one is OP as f man. Like, you can, like, you can use a like, pen, like, you can use Lua Chai, you can like, just clear like 80,000 points because like, it just kills yeah. everything with the ultimate, yeah. That's my problem with that. Like, I don't want it to be too hard for people, but at the same time, like, can we get, like, a little maybe... bit more? A little bit more, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so in, in your opinion, do you think it's too easy, just right, or too hard right now? I think it's too easy. There you go, it's not a will take, guys. Go about fucking spend for yo. There you go. All right, yeah. okay, I rest my case. Yeah, because Chad just keeps saying that it's a will take, it's a will take, but I just genuinely don't think Pure Vision is just all that. I, I just do it in like a uh, full and then just, just see, see what happens, and then we're just done. And like, they made a whole ass content for it, they hyped it up so much, but the entire mode is just done within like 30 minutes. So it's like a little bit of a letdown in my opinion. I feel like they could add, definitely yeah. add a bit more. And I feel like they definitely would in the future. Like similar to how in MOC, they added levels right now we have 12. I don't see yeah. why they wouldn't add like Pure Fission 6, 8, 10, 12 like in the future. So yeah. I think it's fun. Like I enjoy new units being used. Uh, and I enjoy like on the first one, you could just go Pella ult and like insta kill the whole wave. Yeah, like, I yeah, like yeah. that it has yeah. new stuff. And like Absolutely. Fire MC can be used in there pretty nicely. Yep. So they cooked, but I I appreciate an, a, a pure fiction five perhaps. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. All right, huge. Okay, let me see. Uh... Oh my god, yo, wait. Oh shit, you didn't pull silver wolf. Oh my god, because I really really want to ask didn't. you. Yeah, Pella versus silver wolf. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna get cancelled so many times. Hey, welcome to the team, bro. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I think she's still relevant because of all the things she can do. The reason I didn't pull for her back in 1.1 was because I didn't see use for her in my account, and that was with like no units. And I thought like, I think it was your video all the way back then when you're doing the the pool opinion stuff. Yeah. And you said later on, like we'll see less value in Silver Wolf because we'll have like developed rosters for all the elements. So I didn't pull her also partly because of your video back then. Based? Like they're gonna release units that work really nicely without they think ratio. But 
like this the single target bit of of silver wolf like hurts her mm. right imagine she was a blast on her skill and all <laughs> yeah yeah i think i think you you pretty much said oh, what i'm saying and i feel like um quite a lot of people feel this way as well but like i think these opinions it they are kind of disconnected from majority of the player base because they still place a lot of emphasis upon like weakness breaking itself as a mechanic because their gears are just simply like not that great i i like oh my god you should see the account reviews i've done man holy shit you see people with like 60 crit rate 80 crit damage it's like it just, it just does not exist and i, I would dare say this yeah. is the majority of the population that they just have really really bad relics so when it comes to those players and they probably don't have a full roster as well i think silver wolf is is, is pretty good but like when yeah. you get to a point where you can like start killing things very consistently then like she starts to like taper off so yeah I think it's just a matter of time before before the people realize it. So we can say we told we, we told you so as of um what today is today's date? Uh 20, 21st of February, right? Yeah. But they might release like a hopefully like if they were to release like more modes, like a pure single target mode, like a raid boss or something. Oh yeah. my god, I think that's and she's good. back. Yeah, that would be really, really she's good. She's so barack at that point. <laughs> so barack, yeah. Ah, uh, I start that. I think the rest of just don't really use that much, right? No. Yeah. I love Yo, what, what about Jeez. what about Japart? Wait, how many how many coggers do you have? Um, you oh have four, five, six coggers. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Yeah, what, what, what are your thoughts on Japart since you, you actually don't use him? I think I prefer Bilo. I don't know. Like, Japart is just. Uh, I don't know. I think Japart stops damage. Yeah, I think I prefer Bilo. I don't know. Like, Japart stops damage. But if you mess up and he can no longer prevent damage, you're not healing back through it. Whereas right. Bilo can. That's my only problem between the two. And, um, <laughs> He also can't do any cleansing stuff, can he? Nah, he can't cleanse, yeah. He has oh. torn though, like he 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 draws he the torn, aggression. Yeah. yeah, but like if your teammate gets fucked, then like it's kinda it's kinda over. Because of the new enemies, the uh, the monkey, um, they're kinda like promoting him again, I guess. Maybe they'll have more uh enemies that uh you want to bring shields against, uh to promote Jepard, Fire MC, March. Uh, because Fish One has no shields, so she right. can't really go against him as well. Wait, what's the new monkey against? I actually don't even know what a monkey does. They just die like too fast, respectfully. <laughs> what does the new monkey do? I mean, he throws like soda bottles at you, but it's like if you have a shield, it like bounces back onto him and they also reduce defense. So Oh it, shit, like, wait, what? Wait, you have a shield? It bounces back the projectile. Yeah. Wait, that's so cool. So not only do you get damage, more damage onto him, you also don't get defense reduction. I don't know. I think. I don't know if it applies. I haven't tested this, the new enemies that much, but... Wait, 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 all right, Let, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I think we can, we can see it here. Wait, that sounds really, really cool. Oh, drop. Monkey. I've killed two of them, how old are I'm sorry. Yeah, no. wait, oh my god, wait, do you, do you, do you min pick in this game? I do not min pick. You do not farm mobs, you do not do sim to the universe? Like, none of that? I, I, since the start of the game, I have not, like, farmed the mats from Simulator Universe. I haven't overworld farmed, I've... I've uh, been pretty sure on this game. Damn, you are really, really casual, huh? Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, even though you spend like 400, 400 bucks, I feel like this is a... Uh, minus the E2 in Bibisa Lune, I think this is a relatively relatable account. I, I think Chad would agree with me. And, and if Chad agrees with me, they will type one. I think this is relatively relatable, like minus yeah, this type two. one, guys. Yeah, minus this one, dude. Everything else Bro, is kind the, of... The, the, the E2S1 Lune was pretty, pretty good luck, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, how, how many how many points do you do you spend to get this do again? I remember it was quite quite little, right? Because you you, you were flexing. Like you were literally flexing. I remember you were flexing for me. You were flexing. I was to flexing. Me. You were flexing. Yeah. How and many you put his ass. <laughs> Genuinely, I didn't even want to get E two in people today at first, but it was after Guoba got his E two S one. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, surely I'll get it in like similar number of pools, but then like eventually just it is what it is. So actually, my entire E two in people today arc. 90% of it's it was of caused by yeah, it's caused by Goba. Yeah, actually, like genuinely, yeah, that's my that's my that's my villain arc. Goba actually caused my villain arc. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna take a look at your stats. Um, who made you uh? Who yeah? made you pull the Bronyas? What Bronyas? Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're yeah. good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, I think this lower chart looks fine. Um, 4K, 4K HP, 3K attack. Um, do you you still use him nowadays, right? Yeah, I use. Yeah, he's he looks my most used character. Yeah, he looks really, really good, genuinely. He uh, has speed and everything. Um, don't really have much to say about it. It's, it's, it's things are just nice. Run May. All right. Wait, you have 162 break yeah, while running Coggers? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, the Coggers life chose me. Damn, that's actually kind of kind of nuts. I should probably level her traces a bit, though. Yeah, definitely. But like, holy shit. <laughs> 
Wow, you have break effect on every single gear, huh? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I want to get her on Von Weck, though. Not on Pentagon, really. Well, what's the difference? Why, why, why would well, you I wanna, just want uh -huh. her to go first to pop the ult and then. All right, yeah, show. yeah, yeah, makes sense. Wait, okay, okay, wait. Since we are here, right? Okay, yo, Goba, you are the I think third person that I've asked about this because right. I did a I did an account audit with like Mina the other day, and then I was telling her like, about my slow run May build where I built her yep. as like one twenty speed, no energy, yep. no energy generation, all in break effect, and then like she just she just flamed the. F out of me and then like i was coping so yo so so what do you think about slow run mate? so basically what it is is, is basically i think how, you know how it works right it's like 120 speed just to proc the von weg and then just all in break fat like the like, yeah, 200 percent break fat yeah, yeah okay what, what, what are your thoughts yeah i put it in my guide i thought it was a i i, I liked it wait but you said you have no energy or break on the rope no i the rope is a break effect rope no energy regeneration so just all break okay effect. your your goal is like to clear before she needs the energy yeah so basically the, the the moc specifically it will die before yeah. you even cast her second ultimate so you don't even need energy yeah. regeneration yeah and then yeah it's probably fine that like that's honestly like the best thing you can do with her if you're going for the low cycle clears because the whole von Wack, the whole thing about the von Wack thing is she casts she can pop her ultimate you don't need any speed on her she can go full into break effect and then she pops back down um, throughout turns, or if you get to the second wave, she's instantly back down because the Von Wack uh, advance is completely gone. And then you have her skills buff, you have her ults buff, uh, up for like tons of actions for your DPS. And it's, I mean, it's super OP, I'm not gonna lie. If you can fast clear, yeah. I love slow Von Wack, real me. That's what I'm trying to do right now, but I ain't farming all that. Nah, perfect, man. Okay, just to end off your point, can you please just say this one sentence? Suck on these! Mina Ayoyama. Bro, why does she make a video on me? Yo, it's free content, baby. Just say, please, say, please say it. She's, she's fine. I, I, I can tell she's going to be fine. Sagon D is Mina. <laughs> okay, uh, perfect. That's that's really all I wanted to hear about slow run mate. Yeah, uh, I, I completely agree with you. Okay, not to discredit the fast run mate build, uh, because I was telling this to chat. I think like if you don't care about zero cycle, just want like general content like SU daily farming. Uh, you just like a uh, casual comes up. Yeah, you can just go for the fast run mate with the normal energy yeah. generation. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. All right, Ting Yun. I'm always very particular about Ting Yun. Wait, have you seen my? Have you seen my? You know the the thingy? Have I seen you what now? Uh, oh shit! Is, are you back? Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I'm back. Ah, uh, yeah. Have you seen Oh, your body pillow. I have. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite part of your stream. Uh, wait, wait no. why? Why? Wait, what? No, what? No, sorry. Okay, first of all, uh, th that was from a sponsor, so I didn't pay money for it. Yeah. So yeah, they just gave it to me. I'm like, oh, it is like a pretty nice prop, so I'll just leave it in the back room. It's it's pretty nice. You, Looks you good. My mom loves it. Yo, huge shout out to Anime Ducky Makra. Yo, use poke <laughs> Pokey for ten percent off all of your Ducky Makra. They also sell. In wait, wait, yo, wait, wait, wait go back. Yo, yo, you play Genshin, right? Hold up. Hey, let me see it. Oh my, oh my, of course you said that. <laughs> Do you know who that is in Genshin? Yeah, yeah, she's Mona. She's my favorite unit. Uh, I'm a yeah. rank one Mona main in Genshin, actually. I've been playing Mona since day one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've cleared her solo uh, in Spiral Abyss and all of the bosses and in Simple Universe and all that kind of stuff. I always use Mona alone, genuinely. That's why I picked Mona. Yeah, great. Yeah, um, you can answer some questions on her. Uh, I mean, like, nah, I, I'm good because, like, I'm the rank one <laughs> nah, Mona main, right? Okay. So I understand everything about her. Yeah, so, like, yeah I, I understand I everything. That. Moving on, think you. I have not changed her relics for like months. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I should really get some high speed pieces on her. Yeah, it's like, not as bad as I thought. Um, you know, you know the, the, the break points for speed is you, when you use Dunstan to get three actions in the very first cycle. I mean, I could quickly. Yo, know, quickly, just quickly math it up. Don't tell me. <laughs> what speed do I need to hit? Pokey Sensei. If I'm not wrong, if you. Don't use Von Weck, it's like 174 with Duns Duns Duns. If right. you use Von Weck, I think you drop down by like 10. But I, I can't remember oh, the exact speed as well. Then. So yeah, you're almost there to going like thrice on the very first turn. What about her, um, her speed bonus? Yeah, yeah. Is that including it? Yeah, it's including oh, okay. it's inclusive of the speed bonus. Because if you don't include speed bonus, I think with Duns Duns Duns, uh, a normal unit would need 181 speed to move to thrice. All right. yeah. But because of a speed bonus, then it's like a little bit slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably a little bit more attack and yeah. Um, Lovely. 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 His re uh, you're gonna cry at his relics. I'm not gonna lie, mate.
you go about what's going on, man. Bro, I clear with this, okay? I if I can clear with it, I don't look for set bonuses. This my true, account true, is, true. A, is a prime example of why set bonuses are over. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I I always believe in that. It's just that for the two piece, I try to match the two piece. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah, I try to match the two piece, but um, I I completely understand you. Um, yeah, set bonuses are our scam. It's like when it comes to like shitty subsets, it's always gonna be like way worse than like matching a set yeah. bonus. Um, but that being said, the stats here don't look that great, man. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> bro, with this with this trace, that's like eighty crit right now, eighty two hundred ten. Yeah, but like this is with rainbow though. Like it's like your this is basically your best yeah, of the got... best, right? It's like your best off piece. I think QQ and Hass were sharing some. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna see what's your best. Okay, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Okay, go on. Before one point oh, five, I don't uh -huh. think I ever properly relic farmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yo, this that, is really good, man. Yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. Okay, you, you you'll have some? see. Uh, uh -huh. You'll see my resources after. <laughs> you can see what I farmed instead. I don't even know what you're farming. You're just you're just, you're just, you're just farming everything, my man. Check my uh, character and light cone level up mats and credits, and you'll see uh, why I have no good relics. <laughs> what are you far what are you saving for? Hongai Star Tree? I tree? don't know, bro. What are you saving <laughs> for, my man? To end world hunger? You wanna you wanna you wanna feed the entire population of Penicony like their their dreams? You wanna, you wanna fund all these kids here? You wanna, you, wanna, you wanna feed them become grown ass men? Why? Why would you why would you ever okay. need this amount of shit? So I think it was like one point. You have 68 balls! <laughs> you have 68 balls! Bro, I got bulls for days. What can I say, man? Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with 68 balls in my life. Bro, why though? Bro, my whole... The, I did this in Genshin as well. If I can clear without using all my stuff, I just hoard it. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a base tick. Yeah, that's kind of a base tick. If you can clear again, you don't really need it. Right, right, right. Okay, I can kind of see it. Yeah. I mean, it didn't help that the, like I pulled E2S1 Lune, so my game experience has been pretty easy since then. So I haven't needed to... Uh, um, much like I, I don't max support traces if I don't need to. Like, yep. I'm, uh, I'm a frugal player, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that you are a very, very frugal player. It's like the, the, the absolute, absolute definition of um. Have you watched this show called Extreme Cheap Skates? I have not. It's like on um, BBC or something. It's like a bunch of like people. They, they live their lives with like really, really like they don't have a bed. They don't have a uh, anything. They 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 shower in public. They don't. They, they wear the same oh. clothes for like ten years. And then like they they, they take like free food from like 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 extreme extreme food. I feel like you're you're, you're on your way there, bro. In game, yeah, I real. I'm not built for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in real life? Okay, okay, fine, fine. You 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 I'm, bought I'm in real life. Take a oh, yeah, man. Like I'm you live in a there. mansion in the, the French mansion, yeah. eating like. 20 baguettes, yep. golden baguettes. Bro, not a mansion. I have a chateau with my own vineyard. Oh, wait, are you for real? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a chateau, I'd be <laughs> making wine, not making videos. Crazy. <laughs> wine maker certified. That is crazy. Wine no, but maker. you should consider that though. As like your, your merch in the future. Guoba yeah, wines. Man. Like genuinely. Dude, I feel like as a as a as a content creator, once you reach like a certain point, you, you could legit just make any merch and it will sell just because it's your name. So I think Goba wine, it will be like a thing, like eventually when you when you yeah, keep man. doing it forever, and you could use your French heritage to do like yep. yeah, 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 oh my god, you. French ancestry, absolutely. Wait, okay, okay. Since, since you're on this topic, right? Um, because 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 like, like, honestly, in account audits. We, we, most of the time, we don't even hear about style. It's just like yapping about end things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, yo, how, how, how's the life like, man? As like a 22-year-old content creator that's doing this at like full time. Uh, it's super chill. Uh, it makes you lazy because you can just, you're just on your f PC all day. But I try and get out. Yeah, touch grass, uh, yeah. I love, you know, a bit of grass here and there, a bit of mint, picking IRL. I think it's such a nice job, but at the same time, it's super volatile. Mm, absolutely, um, yeah. Unless you're crushing it, it's like, it's kind of risky stuff. Um, and it, it takes a lot of work to get to the place where it doesn't take as much work. Because I know you were grinding the hell out of content, and yeah. you still are, despite the IRL job. So it's yeah. like, yeah, it's it's rough. But once you're there, it's, it's pretty nice. You get a whole community of friends you can ch chill with. So I, I love it. But sometimes it's rough, like sometimes when you have the like the guide you need to make in like two days and you're like staying up all night. Yeah, yeah. 
making that and editing that shit, it's rough. But so, what made you like wanna make guide for Star? Because you mentioned you played Genshin, right? I played Genshin, man. I wish I actually did guide for Genshin because I loved. I was a lurker back then in the old theory crafting. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what made me start content creation though? Uh, I used to do modeling, and um, that is also super volatile. Okay, say that again for the viewers, cause cause they wait what? Before content creation, I was a model uh, for a bit, um, <laughs> and then before that, I did oh. not have a job. Shut the f up, nah, 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 nah. You're just <laughs> you, nah. Okay, wait. If you're a model, why not? Like you're you you surely look handsome as f like genuinely. There's no way you don't. I, I will say. I'm not gonna hype myself up. Uh, I will say there are models that aren't necessarily good looking. Like there are so many models in the industry. The only reason why modeling, like you think it's like everyone's attractive in it is because that's where all the popular ones go and like you s all the mainstream ones. But there are so many shows and like really well paying jobs where you get a lot of people that have, that just look like good. They're not like top models. And all you need to be really is tall, uh, have some meat on your bones, and have like a good face structure. Like they they love the jawline. You know the riz the riz emote. It's bro, pretty much that. bro, you you have to show your face. Man. I swear. Oh my god, I'm so f curious. I'm so bro, f curious. It's gonna I be swear. so anticlimactic, man. Because Pe people think it'd be a supermodel, but I, I'm just like I'm just the I guess. I don't know. Nah, stop being humble, man. Like, oh my god. Wait, how tall are you again? Uh, I think I'm 6'3 or 6'4. So I'm in between Holy you and shit. Sorry, what's what's that in, in CM? I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just... Uh, yeah. 193, I believe. Oh centimeters. my god. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Holy, you are, you, are, you, are, you are an attractive, attractive man. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to the face room, man. Nah, there's no way this is going to be a dream situation, for genuinely. Real. Yeah, for real, for real, for real. Are you going to Chon? Pitchcon. Yeah, maybe, probably. Yo, Why please, not? yo, go, man. Because I, I, I'm actually booking tickets with Box 2 as we speak. Gacha Smack, we're gonna, probably going to meet up Gacha Smack. And then, like, all the VTubers, yeah. you know, like Mina, Ruby, Tagon's going to be there. Oh my god, it's going to be great, man. Yo, please come. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll DM you if I do end up coming. Because I yeah. don't know where my IRL situation will be, but it'll probably be from France, I guess. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, anyways, where the f*** are we? All right, uh, Fu Shred. Um, yo, where's your broken kill, my man? Broken kill. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have good enough pieces. Wait, do you not farm Rogue 7? I've been farming Glamoth. Oh, okay, wait. The... Yeah, yeah, since oh. you're only... Would you recommend players to farm World 7 or World 8? I don't so... know, I'd swip, I'd swap between the two, really. It doesn't work that way, man, because, like, rare RNG is f So, like... Yeah. So, for example, if you spend a thousand stamina in, in, in World 7 and a thousand stamina in World 8, chances are you're just gonna get, like, you, you're probably just gonna get shit relics and maybe one good set of relics from like one road. I guess seven then. Seven, so you would prioritize seven over eight. Yeah, I'm just farming. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm farming Glamoth anymore. Because <laughs> you, you said you don't play DOTs, right? Then I'm like, yeah, I, I was, I was, I was farming it. I don't even know why. I think I just autopiloted it. All right, you're welcome, man. I, I kind of just saved you like a billion stamina there. You're welcome. You did, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> I think for like the past couple of dps rutilan yeah. is kind of losing value like for example ratio he doesn't really care about rutilan because his, his his skill does nothing um black yeah. swan doesn't care about rutilan um yeah Archeron, all right no leaks but like i don't think she's gonna Post care jump. about rutilan uh she, i don't I, I don't think theoretically speaking i don't think she's gonna care about rutilan um and then like sparkle she's probably you know you, you can run her with like still on the kind of stuff then like you can make use of the energy on account kind of stuff so okay you know what? uh yeah, uh, yeah but yeah so i feel like there's starting to be a trend where like dps they are not so tied to rutilant so i think glamour it might start to pick up a little bit more especially if you play dot units so yeah yeah it's, it's cracked for them yeah will you ever farm row six by the way uh, I found it at the start for my tank and like DPS, but I don't like it that much. Okay, for example, if they want to build like a Jingyuan, right? Or if they want to build like Argent here, would you ever recommend to farm Row 6? Or would you just like f it and just like farm like Row 8? Yeah, I, I don't think I'd farm World 6. Yeah, I, I'd just stick to the to 7 or 8. Whoa. Holy shit, yo, your brother looks cracked. You have 62 rest. Yeah, man. Oh my god. Oh my god! 
Yo, this is the this is a good ass Bronya, man. Thank you, man. She's even got the healing bonus for when she uh Yeah, well, in case she heals, right? In case she heals. Yeah. Um uh, Yeah, my my only gripe is that this speed, she's kinda like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's a bit sad. She yeah, it's like, like you can't really run the slow Bronya, but she's not fast enough to do the basic skill skill. Because I, I I think to hit basic skill skill, you probably need to run a Von Wick with like I think 170 speed or some shit like that. It's like it's insane. So yeah, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. But since you have Ramin to help out there, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think you, you I, mentioned- I just do basic skill rotation. Yeah, yeah. Because I think you mentioned it in your in this your, your speed video why 134 speed is a scam or something, right? Because like, if players don't care about the zero cycle getting to it, then it doesn't matter. I think that's where you, you stand, is it? Pretty much. But it, it's more it's more about people forcing 134 on the supports when like supports need to be faster anyway. Yeah, like much faster. Yeah, absolutely. And you can run slow DPS as well. Mm. With sparkle. Mm hmm. Okay, Tobe is just not used. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. There he is. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I, I, I swap relics. So, like, if I need to use Topaz, I'll, like, uh. take some follow up pieces. But... Yeah, it's okay. Because as long as we see like, your best, then it, it's kind of your standard. Um, yeah. Damn. Two plus two as well. Very relatable build. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Damn. What was this? A 30 crit value? Insane. Wow, two rolls in the crit rate. Yeah, man. It's, Holy it's shit! <laughs> what the f am I looking at? Well, I could probably uh, swap him into Prisoner 2 piece. I think I have better ones over Mask. But Yo, I use him is... with Yukong. That's why my crit isn't like higher up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, it is this kind of ass. Yeah, but... I mean, that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yo, okay, yeah, this is a very, very relatable in people to the I can see why you wouldn't have any issues in this game. Like even if you don't yeah. go all in. Yeah, because this guy is, this guy's just up there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really have any thoughts about this. Clara just kinda it is what it is. Ching Chu. Um, yeah, Fu helps a bit with yeah, the crit, but Yeah, but like I think the ratio is still look, Yeah, it looks a little bit rough. This is what yeah. Fu Shu is um Seven yeah, one. I don't really use her as much. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, it is what it is, right? I mean, you already said you hate like Chin and we've got the clip, so yeah, we're Bro, all good. Uh, 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 what, 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 what? You, not you... like this. Nah, 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 nah. It is like this. It is like this. Wait, hold on. Let me try to stop this around. Bro, this Herta looks like she needs she needs urgent medical attention, my man. Bro, I use Genius as repose to help out. I, true, true, I true. prefer the... Wait, she gets hot. She gets 15 crit rate from the, the E2 or something. Wait, Herta gives her crit rate? I think it's the E2. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even know this was a thing. So yeah, I put a little lower. Well, yeah. I mean, Genius Repose helps with crit damage. Oh shit, I didn't even know Herta has crit. Oh my god, okay, wow. Yeah, insane. Wait, is this a permanent? I mean, in pure fiction, it's like w one slap and you, you've got it maxed. <laughs> okay, the more I know that. Alright, interesting. Yeah. Um, Alright, Genius is not used, this guy's not used, Ratio is not used, Yukong is. Is this like. Oh, 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 oh. How how would you go about speed tuning like Yu Kong? Like do you like just like fucking fast or just tired of the DPS or comes off? Yeah, I run her fast only because of E six. I do triple basic rotation. Oh, just don't uh, use sometimes. skill. Ult. Yeah, it's either I don't like if I'm running with like a Bronya, I don't use skill. I just triple basic ult. But if not, uh, I think you tune it like one speed behind your DPS, uh, behind your healer. If your DPS is super fast, or you just go like one speed above your DPS. But I mm -hmm. hit. Three E six though, uh, Yukon just feels yeah. sad. It's, it's it's really rough to use, man. Like honestly, even with E six, it's kind of hard to reuse just because like it takes so long for her to get the ultimate back up, and like the buffs just don't exist, and you have to wait for yeah. the, the downtime just so long. So yeah, I can kind of understand why she's like uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Yeah. Um. Damn. Yeah, I fell on a on a DPS wind build and some memes. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Like Oh god, you actually can. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even farm that. That was from the, uh, you know the first rewards we get? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got it from that, man. That is Lovely. absolutely crazy. 30 crit value randomly. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> ERO, yeah. DPS fella. How, how do you find her? <laughs> DPS fella. Uh, the, the DPS, like, uh, like it's just because I had the win pieces given crit. Like, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Good at some memes. Uh, I should probably just go full speed with the tutorial, really, but... Right, right. She okay. Clears. Yeah. I mean, as long as you clear the game, right? So, like, 
Yeah. Okay. Yo. Um. I feel like there's not a lot to go through just because that like, you don't really have so many units raised. And like, I, I guess I, I really just want to take this opportunity to to just yap with you about like questions from the community. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, yeah. So um, let me pull up chat. Yo. All right. So for this segment of of account reviews, uh, account audit, we're just going to be doing something new. You can just go off and just like answer anything you see that's interesting, right? So yeah, feel free, free for. Okay. Um, the chat that you see on the big screen is only Twitch chat, but the chat you see right on top of me is YouTube chat as well. So yeah, go for it. Uh, best blade comp, hyperspeed Bronya, slow blade. Uh, the best uh, damage wise blade comp is one speed behind blade from what I know. Uh, you go 130, 135 blade, 134 Bronya um, because he can afford the skill spam. Uh, your plans for upcoming banners, uh, E6 Sam, Pokey's funding me his S5 as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 155 speed Black Swan. Um, if you're going high speed Black Swan, go for 160. Don't chill at 155. It's just like a casual break point, I guess, after one break. Do you think Mr. Pokey is a fraud? Uh, of course not, man. Yeah, that's right. Wait, who the f*** asked that? Wait, who asked that? Eth thoughts on E3 S5 Bronya. I mean, that's a very specific uh, Bronya, but uh, it sounds sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty OP, man. Oh, I'm going to update my Arlen guide. Yo, wild cards with an excellent question that I completely f forgot. Yo, what are your thoughts on Watering Waves? Because after this account, I'm going to hop onto my first impression. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Watering Waves so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the, uh, the parkour stuff they have. Mm -hmm. I like the combat a lot. Uh, the story at the start is, uh, in my opinion, sleeper, but it gets really good after. Uh, my only problem is the, and Genshin didn't like, oh, hi tech turn. <laughs> Genshin didn't, um, they didn't invent any of the systems, right? I mean, maybe they did, but they didn't like, like it's not their painted stuff. However, Wuthering Waves is still like using two similar systems to Genshin that I feel like they need to differentiate from a bit more because otherwise everyone is going to call their game like a Genshin clone when the game is like much more than that and I feel like their identity should be Wuthering Waves not you know a Genshin yep. copy because yep. the game is really fun it's really Don't cool. Don't be like in their shadow counting kind of right to do their own thing. Yeah I think they need to differentiate a bit more but uh, <laughs> I, lo I love the game so far uh, I think you'll love it too. I really hope I do. Have you reached the end? What, what level are you now? Uh, I can't remember I have not reached the end game. Bro, I think co-op is like level thirty or some shit, man. Yeah, dude. There's, there's this, there's this um streamer, Sweetily. Um, yeah. Oh, she she plays a game like almost like like half her day is spent on watering waves, and like she hasn't even hit level thirty yet. It's like completely insane. Jesus. Uh, yeah, and but she's she's at the point where she literally gets one shot by the boss. Like you just die from one hit. So the difficulty uh, is definitely yeah. there for watering waves. Yeah. I don't think it's oh, going to be like a Goo Goo Gaga difficulty. So that's good. Do you think Tectone is Mr. Pokey's secret dad? I mean, there are a lot of similarities. Uh, you you might be right. Yo, you know what? I'm going to go take a piss. Give me like two minutes. Uh, Just just keep, okay. just just be chat, right? You can say whatever you want, but I will check I the check. backlog. So I will check the backlog. So I'll, I'll, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, You're right, going to back read. Oh, he's back. Yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 what's up, man? Oh, no. The back reading. Holy <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, why is a model a potato? That's a good question. Why, uh, first gacha cast that I joined with Tech. Yep. I was like, bro, I need to bring, like, I wasn't going to face reveal. So I was yep. like, I, I remember um, Tens, the Valorant player. I remember uh, when I used to play Valorant, I used to uh -huh. watch him and his girlfriend streamed with a potato, this potato uh, model. So I just took that. I wish there was a bear man, but the potato's pretty good. Wait, but I'm pretty sure you can just make one though. Like the, I'm sure there's like- I was making one, bro. Let me show you. Wait, let wait, me wait, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see, I want to see. Yo, 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 wait, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, You're yeah, going to yeah. love this, man. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, genuinely, there's no way this is going to fly. You're going to get copyright shot to bro. death. But I know. It, is a, it, is a, <laughs> it is a good ass model though. It, it is a good ass model. How long, how long did that take you? You made it yourself or like what? Uh, so I like the model itself, I didn't, I didn't make, but I like modified it. So it used my eyes and mouth, but yeah, right, I, right. of course I can't use that, but it was, uh, it was a fun experience. Yeah. Okay. But like genuinely, <laughs> would you just commission like an actual, like a VTuber avatar? Uh, maybe, but like, what would it be? Like a bear or a fucking... <laughs> 
a dude uh, with a bear outfit. I mean, that looks kind of weird. W what do you think I should go for if I ever did? Okay, I'm going to keep it a buck. I, I don't know what, what is like the repercussions of sticking with the Guoba certified branding. Because like people will know you as the, the Hongai style dude. But if you want to think about content creation as like a longevity kind of thing, it might be a little bit uh, of an issue. Because like, well, if you want to make games for like, make guys for other games, they'll be like, what, what is yeah. Guoba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but so like, uh, nah, because Mr. Pokey is from Pokey's Village, but it's like, yep. you know, your your name now. Yeah, like, it's like, we, it's like, like, it like you join and twist, and in, in the words of uh, yeah. ZMF. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, but yeah, you 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 join and twist that shit. I think coming up with a interesting origin story for like your uniquely you branding would be pretty nice. Like you can keep the Guoba certified, but then like it will make it yourself. Like you, you might not even need to use a bear, but like use that to pivot into yeah. like your own brand. Yeah. Okay, but but for real, like for real, for real, personally, I think the the French angle is like some good <laughs> shit. Yeah, I really think the French angle is some good shit. Like you, you use like a baguette or like some some. There's an angry Frenchman that's like smoking cigarettes while streaming and like, what, 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 what's the French word again? Like shit. Merde. Yeah, merde. Just say just say merde every single fucking. I think it's gonna be like so unique and like it'll be a very <laughs> interesting style of you because like um because when i first started off it was like just like translating cn stuff right like it's a very serious you know like uh, hey guys it's a poker hero but like eventually i think like when you become a streamer long enough you will start to yeah. go more and more like <laughs> i don't want to say unhinged but you just become more expressive and i think it'll be I really really fun for like your youtube audience to say like oh my god this guy is such a serious guy maker and then they Tune into a stream and it's just like angry Jeez. French men just shouting. It's like at Ziox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be really, really <laughs> fun. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be a very, very good branding opportunity. Yeah. So yeah, how, how, how do you think guide making for Water Wave is going to be? Assuming that you make guides for them. I think it's going to be tough as well. I When we were doing Zenless stuff, we were talking in that chat um, and Grimro and I were like testing like two days nonstop in that training range, like all the combat stuff you can do. And like, I think Wuthering is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Um, Similar to because, Zenless? Yeah, I think it should be harder than Zenless. My god. Dude, it's so funny that you mentioned Gen Zenless because like, okay, so I'm sorry, I, I low-key have like the ADHD brain because I always like jump topics, but like, yo, yeah. Zenless, my man. Yo, how... <laughs> what do you think about Zenless, my man? I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I was so hyped and then I, I don't know, man. I think I burnt myself out testing all the stuff. <laughs> but also it's like, it just felt a bit too easy with the the amount of swapping you could do. Mm. Wuthering has swapping too, but it's not as easy from what I've tested, and like the enemies are much harder. So, do you think Wuthering will outperform Zenless? Okay, I mean, if the launch goes well, because launch impacts games a lot, Absolutely. and like a scuffed launch hurts shit so much. But if they do it right, then yeah, because it has like Zenless is more niche. Uh, even if it's a Hoyu game, I think Wuthering can do way... I, I think Wuthering could do better than Zenless, yeah. Do you think Wuthering will be like a... Like a popped off game? Or do you think Wuthering will be like a... Like a hype train and then like it'll just like fade into obscurity after a couple of months? It depends, because do we know when it's being released, like at all? I'm 1000% sure it's 2024, but I just don't know when. Yeah. Yeah. Because, okay, usually when games launch CBT2, sometimes they do CBT3, but... Sometimes yeah. just like f**k it and just, they, they just go. I don't think they're going to be releasing in April because that's HSR anniversary. They wouldn't compete with yeah. that. I don't think they'll release in Genshin's anniversary as well. I don't, when's Genshin anniversary? Uh, September, I think. Yeah, so I'm thinking somewhere between the lines of April and September. Either that or after September because I don't think Watering would want to compete with, with MiHoYo. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe June? I don't know. June would be a good time though. Right before but Twitch comes out. Um, yeah. Can't the... I think CN can already pay for stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I think CN, they, they always had the ability to pay for stuff. Even in Hong Kong Star Wars, they could pay for stuff. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. that hopefully means it's soon. The, the problem with Zenless is like, the, the beta launched, and it's like, a big hype moment. The problem with beta is that like, it just dies down so quick, the hype. Like, Honkai Star Rail, I remember waiting since the first trailer, but no one was talking about it for like, the whole year, and then suddenly like, all the promotion stuff comes out, and everyone's talking about it again, but... Yep. I, they just need to like consistently market it, um, keep it trending, and um, like showcase all of the cool new stuff. Because I feel like if Genshin players see uh, that you can run on walls, they'll uh, start downloading. You 
make absolute sense. I, I'll try to relate after I get into the game. Like, um, after we're good, then I'll just see it for myself. But so far, the game looks really, really promising. Okay, my only genuine feedback is that their character models look a little bit bland. I, I don't know if, if, like, the female and male models just kind of look similar to each other. I, I don't know if that's just me. Compared yeah, to like, the your characters. Like, I prefer the model structure, like, it's more mature. And, um, because, like, when I look at Genshin now after Wuthering Ways, I it look like everyone looks like they have a bubble head. Like, the model structure is really good, but yeah, they need, like, cooler designs. Because when I started, I chose Female Rover. When I was started, I was like, bro, this looks like a stripper club, man. Like, it, was, <laughs> it looks so weird. And I felt so uncomfortable playing. Like, just these three, like, half naked women, like, at the start of the game, like, in like a post-apocalypse setting. I don't know, it was so weird. Okay, I think to wrap it up, we'll just grade your account, because I always grade the, oh, the account. And yeah, that's, that's, just the, oh, that's the end game for everything, right? Okay, hold up. All right, Mr. Goober. Yep. <laughs> okay, yo, I'm gonna keep it a buck. In the most objective way, right? In the most neutral way, right? I think this is a... Uh, Uh, the, the, the stream hasn't showed me. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's a pretty fair grade, genuinely. Uh, well, do you go to S tier? There is S tier. Uh, the only one that got an S tier so far is, is Sweetly. I think Sweetly's account is actually cracked as f. You should, have you well, seen? It's no, like, I, need to, I need to watch that. Yeah, it's like she has a 186 speed Ting Yun with a 2.6k attack. What? The she has a E6 blade. Oh. She has an E5 welt. Insane, insane stats all over the place. Uh, she does max refresh. It's just an insane account, and I would have never expected this from like a from like a VTuber account. Cause I think like VTuber, I thought like VTubers are just generally more chill. Right? There's more, there's this like hee hee ha ha. But like, yo, she's a she's a sweaty <laughs> ass gamer, man. She she games and, and like she's also like she's just sweating it out in, in, in water. So like, um, yeah, she was she's a gamer she's a gamer. Pro. So yeah, yeah, she's the, she's the actual S tier account. So yeah, yeah, I think there's a. <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy with the B. I think okay, like. Even without a bad greeting, I think your account would be a pretty solid A if you decide to actually start pooling. I feel like you're, you're missing like, <laughs> like half the SSR roster, so like, yeah, yeah, right. I think you need a little bit more coverage. Akron. That is exam is not gonna help, is it? You want me to pull Akron? Um, will you pull Akron? Well, are you gonna pull Akron? Absolutely. Um, it's actually gonna <laughs> part gonna... my sub go. Uh, because I'm doing a subathon, yeah. then like, if we kill a certain number, I'll do an E6 Akron. I think she'll be my oh only my E6 E6 on my account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, oh my god, I never think for, for right, tall dog mommy. Her E6 mommy. better be cracked. Yeah, her E6 better be cracked. I wonder. I wonder. And with that, we have come to the end of today's account audit featuring um, Holy Black Reading Global Certified, right? If you guys want to engage in any further discussions, head on over to the Discord, Focus Village, or hop on the Twitch. Check out Global Certified's YouTube channel. He's also going to be starting stream really, really soon once he settles down. So please show him some support. He's, he makes tons and tons of brilliant guides. Uh, not only for Hongkai Stario, he's going to be covering a lot of other guides in the future. So yeah, do, do check him out, right? All right, Global, go ahead. Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, you're already on Mr. Pokey's channel, but if you haven't hit that notification bell, I would slap it right now. Maybe join his membership. Uh, maybe donate a coffee on Ko-Fi. Uh, Prime subs are free. Uh, use his code on uh, the Body Pillow Company. I forgot his name. If you want, also sub to me. That's all for today, and we'll see you guys for what is it? Sparkle's guy. Oh my god, we're looking forward to that, man. Oh yeah, uh, man. Bye. bye. Two hundred speed sparkle. Bye. I, I I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely, I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys. I gen. Did I say I genuinely, I, did I say how I genuinely cannot believe this shit? I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys.